And ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here. I'm, I'm going to stop a little bit to have a translation or a little bit. Good. No, no, continue. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure for me to join you here today. Uh, for me, as a European Commission, it's very important to also go local, uh, if you may say so, and also uh, I'm very happy that uh, this has been arranged to have this round table here today to get into depth in, 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 in the questions that we have on the agenda today. Antwerp region, I understand that I, I feel a little bit of a competition between different, <laughs> so I'm very, <laughs> I want to be on the safe side here. The region has been in the heart of trade uh, for centuries uh, and leading also industrial innovation. Uh, but of course, as you said, Mr. Mayor, a hard lesson of the dramatic PFAS uh, pollution in, in this type tra practice. I'm from Sweden, I can read some Flandish word, but Sveindracht, maybe. Uh, is something that we need to take the lessons from. Uh, and also Flanders is a region, one of the most densely, densely populated areas in Europe. And of course here finding the right balance between industrial development, protecting the health of the citizens and also safeguarding the environment is inevitably complex. And yet I do believe that competitiveness and strong health and environment protection goes hand in hand. And the way to do that is the way that EU has always achieved this, is by setting high standards. For me, that high standards drives innovation, it also drives consumer trust, and also the position Europe's businesses as global leaders in sustainable solutions and innovation. At the same time, of course, we need to be efficient and we need to clear and we need to have practical policies. And that is why the Commission is also focusing on simplification. But finding the right balance is important and we remain firmly committed to strong protection of our people and the environment. And all this was very clear uh, from the mission letter that the President gave me uh, for this mandate to combining innovation and competitiveness and strong emphasis on protecting human health and uh, in the area of chemicals. As you, I just want to say a little bit on what we are doing and then I'm really looking forward to listen to your, your inputs. But we are preparing the revision of the REACH uh, regulation and as you all know, it's a key uh, area, uh, the key law for the area of chemicals. Uh, and the, the aim with the revision is to simplify the rules to make them fit for purpose while maintaining the level of ambition. Uh, also, this is an opportunity to update this regulation based on science while, uh, while the decisions to have, uh, have to uh, be taken. The, the decision has not been taken yet. Uh, then here I'm also really interested to listen on your scientific input. Then we of course also, as you know, uh, working on how to tackle PFAS pollution in all the dimensions and last week I visited the European Chemical Agency in Helsinki, ECA, which uh, you probably also know is preparing a broad uh, PFAS restriction and the work to, we are uh, aiming to work on the ban for PFAS uh, in consumer products. For industrial use it is important to also give legal certainty, address pollution and also uh, provide a balanced solution. And we can't ignore that PFAS is uh, crucial to certain critical industrial applicants, applications and also technologies that we need for the green and uh, digital transition. So we need to see the continue to allow use of PFAS in strategic sectors, uh, also such as uh, defense and health, uh, uh, until we have safe alternatives uh, in the, in the market. However, uh, this will need to be done under strict conditions to tackle emissions uh, and here innovation and research plays a crucial role. But to shape the way forward I rely on science, uh, on stakeholders' expertise and also the citizens' expectations. European policies are only as good as uh, us, us on their local implementation, uh, so everybody is involved here. And today I'm really looking forward to, to hear your views and also your recommendation and the needs that is or, or that we need to do. There is so much expertise in the room uh, and, uh, and, and that is why I'm really looking forward to have this discussion with you. And I'm confident that we can find a common ground on the work together on to shape the future reach, uh, but also to the, our work on PFAS. 
uh, that uh, find this balance between industry, society, people's health and, and nature. So thank you very much for Asian Dixon for having me and I'm looking forward to the discussion. <laughs> Please look at me. Yes. My colleague also, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.